Hey, what is up y'all? Welcome back to Solaris for a very exciting build because I, I've mentioned this in a previous video, but I had um, planned from the very beginning to do a bus stop on this island, but I wasn't quite sure how I was going to accomplish it. But I did end up downloading some custom codes and um, yeah, we're, we're doing a little bus stop at the back of the island today. And this is the second to last speed build that I'll be doing for this island. There's gonna be one more after this and then the final tour. I always like to leave clips in of villagers like giving me stuff because I think that it's really cute and they're very sweet. So this road that the um, the bus is going to be sitting on is I'm giving the illusion that it's coming out of a tunnel in this mountain, and I um, I am not the first person to think of this idea, of course. Um, and also, I used the gold symbol panels, and maybe I should replace them. Like I don't know if there's a variation that's like the edging is black, but um, if there is. I might want to replace those, I'm just realizing. <laughs> I was like, oh, that looks kind of weird, but like, whatever. But I, I think I might be able to do something about it. But anyway, um, I'm not the first person to do this trick with a um, some completely black, simple, simple, oh my God, can I speak? Completely black, simple panels and an arch. Um, I don't remember who the first person I saw do this was. It might have been Tiger. I don't know. I saw this trick a long, long time ago before I even started. Um, my channel or, or even um, building things like this in Animal Crossing, but um, 
I've definitely seen many people do things like this, so I did not come up with this. But I decided to use the, um, uh, what is it called? Trees Bounty Arch uh, for this instead of like the stone arch or something like that. One, because I just had it on hand. And um, also I just think it's cute. And I used one of those in my last build in a neighborhood. It's just, it's probably my favorite arch, especially the brown, uh, the brown customization. Um, it just looks very lush and natural to me and it's cute. I like it. It's the vibe that I'm feeling right now. This is a summer island, but I'm going to incorporate as many fall elements as I can because that's the energy that I'm feeling right now. I think at this point in the build, I still hadn't downloaded the custom codes that I needed to make the actual bus. I was just doing everything to avoid working on that spot. So that's why I'm like doing this waterscaping up here that's like not necessary right now. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to avoid working on the bus itself, but I, I, I'm about to, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna be completely um, completely filling out this area behind the bus stop, like the background of it in this video, but um, my next video, which will be my last speed build on this island, I'm going to be filling in all of these cliffs in the back of my island with just pretty much just natural decoration. So um, it's gonna be, just a, a spoiler warning for my next video, it's gonna be kind of a um, nature preserve uh, type of deal, at least on this half of the island. There's gonna be, um, the campsite incorporated on uh, the western half of the island, but 
Um, in this part, it's mostly just gonna be the idea is that it's a nature preserve. Um, so I'm gonna be filling in all of that space that I didn't fill in here um, in my next video. So yeah, I ended up using a camper van custom design to make this bus. And um, I always leave the custom codes that I use in the description of every video, along with uh, social media handles of the creators, if I can find them, which I usually can. Um, so that will be in the description. I sort of experimented a little with what to put behind the um, face standees or whatever they're called in order to give the illusion of a bus. I mean, obviously it's still not perfect. I mean, no like illusion is gonna be um, completely believable in this game. Uh, but I think the, the, the thing that I found that I thought worked the best is to use stalls like this. Um, and I think that the color matches really well. So I think it's cute. All right, and it's time for a walkthrough of this little area with everything growing. And I am really happy with how this turned out. I know the, um, the sort of tunnel uh, with the simple panels looks kind of strange, but um, in, in general, I like the way that this looks. And um, I'm very happy I was able to do the bus stop that I wanted to do. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and uh, look out for my next video, which will be my last speed build on Solaris. All right, bye y'all.